I think that's as tight as she goes. Uh, I see. We better what wait the guy okay. till someone knows about it. Okay, we're not. He you just... gotta make sure he has them close. I may, it may show, Sam. It may show. That's a tough one, Chris. It's a tough one. I had a heck of a hard time getting it off. I mean, open. And the way this oh, pops up. Aren't wetting the pain? <laughs> I got umpteen clips and I'm not going to have no place to put them. Okay, well, somebody will know out there. You'll see somebody else wearing the same it's thing, you know. Half to be, yeah. Well, I just put it on. You know, that has to be loosened, Dick. You're right. See, yeah. some of them have this smaller. This is tight or what? Yeah, some of them have smaller necks. Mm -hmm. Here, just put it here and pull this out. Like How about then just leave it until he gets his coat? Right. At quarter after. What time is it? He has time. <laughs> he wants to walk around. That's right. <laughs> Don't move. That looks hunky. So that's okay. Yeah, these should be up a little bit more. Damn.
Oh, let me see. That's a shame. It's just whack of head last night. It shouldn't be in there. Oh, that should be okay. What's that? Those were the men from there talking to you. It might be the farthest driver in the world. <laughs> There's other people following him for like, like a little convoy guy. Yeah. If it was up to me, you, you know, you guys don't have to be driving in the limo with this. So. Uh, no. Where's the way? In the back. Can you see? Does it look funny? No, I can look at it. Okay. We want to find white underwear. I don't know. Look how something like sexy on, man. This thing's a pain in the ass. I should have thought that I had her a lot sooner than I did. That's a shame. We got resurrection for her. I remember the best. What happened? The priest of Christ said, I'll let you go to the special administration. Mm hmm. Right. Mm hmm. Does every church have to pay that? Yeah. Really? I guess it'd be a real burden for some people. Yeah. Because of their way they're going to get $100,000 from other families. Right. What I would do if I was a pastor in that situation, I would do some stuff. People need to donate a little bit more, I think. I think I would drink till last year. I would just go to the good school. Mm -hmm. The insurance company would see a child, which is a very good thing. I'm not being to the pay and pay it out. Yeah. It's always just damages my money and burn down or something like that. It's a shame. Was it fun? I hope so. What's that? And ever. Amen. Let us be attentive to our scripture reading. Thank you. 
From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. This is why a man must leave father and mother, and the two become one body. They are no longer two, therefore, but one body. So then what God has united, man must not divide. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Teresa and Chris, you have come here today so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of your family and friends. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament. Teresa and Chris, you're about to enter a union which is most sacred and most serious. It is most sacred because it is established by God himself, and most serious, because it will bind you together for life in a relationship so close and so intimate that it will profoundly influence your entire future lives to the interest of that deeper and wider life you are to have in common. Henceforth, you belong entirely to each other. You'll be one in mind, one in heart, and one in affection. And whatever sacrifices you may hereafter be required to make to preserve this common life, I ask you today to always make them generously. Sacrifice is usually difficult and irksome. Only love can make it easy. And perfect love, as St. Paul tells us so eloquently, can make it a great joy. We are willing to give in proportion as we love. And when love is perfect, the sacrifice is complete. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and the Son so loved us that he gave himself for our salvation. Selfish spirit of perfect sacrifice guides your every action. You can expect the greatest measure of earthly happiness that may be allotted to people in this life. Yes. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. And will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, I ask you now to turn and join your hands and declare a consent before God and his church. I, Chris, I, Chris, take you, Teresa, take you, Teresa, to be my wife, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you, I promise to be true to you, in good times and in bad, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. I will love you, I will love you and honor you and honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life I, my husband i promise to be true to you i promise to be true to you in good times and in bad in good times and in bad in sickness and in health in sickness and in health i will love you i will love you and honor you and honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life do your will and always live together and we ask this in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen teresa take this ring teresa take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the father in the name of the father and of the son and of the son and of the holy spirit and of the holy spirit Chris, take this ring. Chris, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, man must not divide. You may have noticed that at the beginning of this service, there were two candles lighted in the center of the altar that represent the lives of Teresa and Chris to this moment. They are two distinct lights, each capable of going their separate ways. But to bring bliss and happiness to their home, there must be a merging of these two lights into one light. For this is what the Lord meant when he said, On this account a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife 
and the two shall become one flesh. And so from now on their thoughts shall be for each other, rather than for their individual selves. Their plans shall be mutual, their joys and sorrows shall be shared alike. And so at this time, Chris and Teresa will go forward and light the marriage candle. God has given us promises in the word of scripture. Teresa and Chris have given their promises to each other in this marriage. This hour of promise is also a time of prayer. And so we turn to God our Father and make our response by saying, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. For our church, to keep the promise of salvation, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For our world, to keep the promise of peace, we pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For our country, to keep the promise of freedom, we pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our parish, to keep the promise of discipleship, we pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our hearts, to keep the promise of loving, we pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our hands, to keep the promise of giving, we pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our lives, to keep the promise of growing, we pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. And for this couple, to keep the promise of marriage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Father, you have chosen us and given us your love, the power of the Holy Spirit in our midst. Hear our prayers today and keep us open. May our faith issue forth in action, our love show itself in deed, and our hope give us courage. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, let us now turn to the Lord and pray that he will bless with his grace this woman, Teresa, now married in Christ to this man, Chris, and that he will unite in love this couple he has joined in this holy bond, the help of woman, so that man and woman should no longer be two but one flesh. And you teach us that what you have united may never be divided. Father, you have made the union of husband and wife so holy a mystery that it symbolizes the marriage of Christ and his church. Father, by your plan, man and woman are united and married life has been established as the one blessing that was not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away in the flood. Look with love upon this woman, your daughter, now joined to her husband in marriage. She asks your blessing. Give her the grace of love and peace. And she always follow the example of the holy women, whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband put his trust in her and recognize that she is his equal and the heir with him to the life of grace. Let them be living examples of Christian life. Give them the strength which comes from the gospel, so that they may be witnesses of Christ to others. Bless them with children and help them to be good parents. May they live to see their children's children. And after a happy old age, grant them fullness of life with the saints. And peace, my peace I give to you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Also with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. You may now kiss the bride. Peace and congratulations. Peace and congratulations. Let me go together over here first.
your generous love for them be returned to you many times over. May the peace of Christ live always in your hearts and in your home. May you have true friends who stand by you both in joy and in sorrow. May you be ready and willing to help and comfort all who come to you in need. And may the blessings promised to the compassionate be yours in abundance. May you find happiness and satisfaction in your work. May daily problems never cause you undue anxiety, nor the desire for earthly possessions dominate your lives. May your heart's first desire be always the good things waiting for you in the life of heaven. May the Lord bless you with many happy years together, so that you may enjoy the rewards of a good life, and after you have served him loyally in his kingdom here on earth, may he welcome you to his eternal kingdom in heaven. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I have the distinct honor and pleasure of introducing to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Granger. Come on, Chris, smile. That's it.
this really takes it. I guess so. It's the only thing I care about. Who's going to play tonight? <laughs> okay. Didn't you? Go on, come on. Go, go, come on. Get going. Hurry up. Get away. Hey, you want to go to the car? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm sure you guys are working hard there as usual. Is this the first time you've been to America? <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Chris, Thanks for coming. Hey, I heard you just came back from Germany. Yeah, I sure did. Did you have a good time out there? It was intense. Working a lot? Working a lot. Bugging out to see what we could see in the meantime. Yeah. yeah. Sounds nice. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby. Great. My man. Yeah. So, Chris, tell me, why'd they take us through Homewood? What's that? Why'd they take the limo through Homewood? Is that her, how he went? I don't know. It'd be us drinking. Yeah. Oh. We saw a big cop. Yeah. Jeff Bobby. I heard you get a $25 divorce out there. Are you That's what your husband was telling us about. You do remember that. She made you press press. Thanks for coming. Stacy, nice to see you again. How you doing? Yeah. Like, one day I was talking to you about going to the races, the next day, you were gone. <laughs> I was, was going to work, again, with two weeks now, so I was going to work two weeks. They just said, oh, yeah, you might as well leave right now. So. Oh, that's, that, that was real nice. <laughs> Thanks for coming, though. Hey, no problem. What's the mic on for? That's not under taping us, so anything you say can and will be used against you in a court law. Oh, definitely. You got a name list, right? Yeah. He's got a microphone on. Hi, Chris. Thanks for coming. Hi, Chris. Yeah, I could really, you should have came up and uh, yeah, okay, just blew the place up. Yeah, right. <laughs> Stop. Now we're Stop. Here. So how you been? Oh, okay. Good? Okay. Happy, healthy. Happy, happy. Yeah. Good. You working hard? You still in research? Yeah. Uh huh. I'm in the eco department up at Don Sears. Well, I'm glad you came. Back. So where are you going? Oh no, thanks for inviting me, man. Where we living? Yeah. Plum Borough. Oh, Plum Borough. Kind of out of the way, but we got a real good deal on a house out there so far. Oh, and my girlfriend's right out of Monroeville. No kid. We're 16A, exit 16A. Oh yeah. Yeah. We gotta get together something. Yeah. With this guy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I. Finally made it, huh? Yeah, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I never thought I'd get here. Oh, belly. Great. I'm losing it, though. Come on, get over here. Where's Phil? Phil's right there. Hi, Phil. Thanks for coming. How was the trip down, okay? I'm happy to drive out. Oh, Teddy, great. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll see you later, so. Good. How you doing? Alright. Well, you're out on your own, buddy. Oh, God. Sam was get, glad to get rid of me, believe me. Sam be glad to get rid of anyone. You tried living with him for 20 seconds. I didn't have a medal, man. <laughs> Thank you. Jaffer, thanks for having us. Yeah, sure thing. My pleasure. I'm Vince Grainer. I'm his ninth cousin. Yeah, you have a, I don't know, you have a family, Chris. A lot of family. I'm Vince Grainer. Alrighty, you want to know what's going on? Is your wife with you? Yeah, she's here. She's over here. Okay. Thanks for coming. Oh, no problem. I had to give you my condolences. Yeah. So, the Penguins are going to lose tonight, and we're not going to make the playoffs tonight. Yeah, right here. Speak into the microphone. Oh, you have a microphone. <laughs> Back in seventh grade, I think we were at Wesley Grade School. Yeah, that first day when the kids came off the bus from Beachview, we all, all, all those guys from Brooklyn stood around and looked at them, and it was like aliens coming off of a bus. <laughs> and, and Mike Kanigoski and Darren and Chris, some of the first guys off. Chris was in our class, and I looked at him and I said, well, This guy's real laid back. And real, you know, nothing bothers him. And, uh, never in a million years I'd 
that I think that I'd be standing here today, and it's such an honor that Chris even chose me to be in his wedding, let alone his best man. And I'd like to thank him and Teresa for that. And um, we'd like to say thank you to all of you for coming and sharing the day with them. Uh, obviously, some of the most important people in their life because you are here. And I'd just like to thank you from Chris and Teresa. Let us pray. Um, dear Lord, thank you for allowing us to come here today to share the day with Chris and Teresa. May their marriage always be happy. May their road be easy. May their children be healthy and happy in every way possible. May they always be able to provide for each other and share a love that lasts a lifetime. Please watch over this, their marriage and thank you for this food today people that prepared it and let everyone have a safe and happy day. Thank you. Amen.
Maria and Chris, or Teresa and Chris, I'm sorry. Wish you the very best, and I'm really glad I was able to come up for the wedding. Good luck and God bless you. Congratulations, Teresa and Chris, and I wish you all the happiness in the future. Congratulations to the bride and groom, and next time, if Lucy gets her uh, announcement on time, she'll be here at the wedding reception having fun with everybody else. Thank you for that cue, and thank you for giving us this opportunity to wish you, Chris and Teresa, a most happy and wonderful marriage. Isn't that right, Kat? <laughs> yes, and Teresa, just know that Chris is going to be so sweet to you because he's been so sweet to us. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, nuptial bliss and all the things that go with it to you. We wish you our best, and it's been a pleasure to be here. I'm going to go uh, get another plate of whatever they're serving. Chris and Teresa, I just want to wish you the best, and I'm glad I could make it, and uh, we're just really happy for you on your day, and I just wish the best of luck, and your love lasts forever. Congratulations, and may God bless your life together. Tomahawk. Well, good luck to you, Teresa and Chrissy John. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Same for me. Best wishes, good life. Well, Chris and Teresa, you're finally married. Well, and uh, we want you to have a happy life together. And we're gonna make sure that you do because we're gonna be right down the street from you. <laughs> and if you don't have a good life together, then we'll make, we'll make sure we tell you you're not having a good life together. <laughs> Here's Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck, Teresa and Chris. And we hope you enjoy your dog whenever you get him. Wolf Her. <laughs> and I hope you have fun on your honeymoon. 
Congratulations. Thanks for inviting me. And have a happy life. Hi, Teresa and Christopher. I wish you lots of luck and good health. God be with you. Dear Chris and Teresa, we love you very much, and we hope that you have a wonderful marriage and that you love each other more and more every year. I just want to say uh, have all the happiness in the world and, uh, and hope everything goes real good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Chris and Teresa, everybody says you deserve each other, and I say you both got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> good luck to a sweet couple. That's all I know. That's all we know. <laughs> you were a brat for working yesterday all day, screwing everything up. Yeah, you dumped everything on Daddy. Yeah, <laughs> tell him. Screwed up everything. She but did. she said thanks. Yeah, she said thanks. <laughs> so good luck to both of you. Good luck to both of you. Teresa and Chris, a wise man once told me, and I'll never forget this, always, no, wait a minute, it was never, no, just try to buy some stock in U.S. Sprint because you're going to be making a lot of phone calls to uh, Roseanne and try to keep the bills down a little bit. Maybe you'll call less and I'll be able to enjoy my wife's company a little bit more. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, we're down here at City Hall. We just had a re-election, and the final tally's in. We got the new mayor of Beachview. Come on in, step in. He's the mayor of Realty Avenue. I'd like to introduce you to Ronnie Cortez. Tell us some of your goals, some of your plans while we're here at this festivity. Uh, by the way, congratulations, Chris and Teresa. And I'll turn it over to the mayor right now. Oh, I too'd like to congratulate Teresa and uh, Chris on their um, event today. I wish them the best. And naturally, if there's anything I can do for them, I hope that they would feel free to come, give me a call, stop by. I realize they're not going to be able to vote for me anymore because they're not in the, in the district, but we will accept absentee ballots. So uh, from myself and my family, best wishes and, and the best to you. Thank you. Bob? Well, welcome from the, from the Valsport Corporation. We'd like to say... <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Best wishes for the bride and the groom, or the groom and the bride. Good luck, Chris and Teresa. Chris and Teresa, congratulations. Best wishes. <laughs> Good luck, Chris. <laughs> Good luck, all of you. Best wishes. Good luck, Good luck Chris yeah. and Teresa. Yeah. Hey, we'll see you soon at the racetrack. Congratulations, Chris. It was a very nice Chris. wedding, and the food was very good, and we enjoyed it. And Best of luck. Teresa, Chris, congratulations on your wedding. I hope you have a good time on the slopes and enjoy yourselves. Hi. We're so glad you invited us, Chris and Teresa. It was a lovely wedding, and you sure did look beautiful. You know, it's like this. I busted my goddamn buns getting y'all set for this wedding. If you don't stay married, you have to deal with me in the worst fashionable way. What do you think me and this guy here take karate? It ain't because of you five, your little fancy pansies. Good luck to you. Want to wish you both the best of luck. May it continue forever. I know it will. Know you both well enough to know that things are going to work out for you. Besides, you got the two of us that are going to be right behind you that if things do mess up, you're in big trouble. I mean, you big trouble, Chris. <laughs> Okay, our, our biggest memory was planning the shower for Teresa. Boy, so, was it a joke. Oh, it was hilarious. It snowed like crazy that night. The roads were icy. No one made it, and, and then finally, about 10 o'clock, they finally came after we blew out the candles and we were ready to go home. We had put all the food away. We said, nobody's coming now. Teresa shows up at 10 o'clock. We had to light the candles real fast and pretend like uh, everything was perfect. And we said, if this is anything of how the wedding's gonna be boy what a disaster but I see as it's almost over we're doing real good good yeah. luck Chris and Teresa yeah good luck hi Teresa hi Chris we just like to say God's blessing on your marriage that's from me and Vicky and Ben and from back in New Zealand from Warwick and Francis Sonia and Gary and my sister Kathy and Michael and little Vanessa 
Um, yeah, all the best and remember that we love you heaps and heaps and see you again sometime. Thank you for letting me be a part of this wonderful event and all the bankers, you're just wonderful. I'm glad to have met you and congratulations again, Teresa and Chris. Okay. Chris. Chris and Teresa, we love you and wish you the very best. We've had a wonderful time and wish only the best for you. And I, all I can say to that is ditto. God bless you both.